Hey, it's Ragtar, and I'm back, and I'm trying to catch Beauregard today in this episode of Super Luigi's Mansion of Mario's Justice. I'm trying some new methods, possibly, to, like, make so boos are better and easier to catch today. I was watching, so I was watching a speedrunner. Dude, I don't even know how I did that so well. That was mostly an accident. So, anyways... Um, so yeah, I was, I figured I would try and catch some booze while I was on my way up to where the main next area of the game is at, but I was watching some, uh, speedrunners play this game, and I was like, dude, they are totes my goats, 100% pros and a half, can I make go through the story yet still? I think it's just a shortcut anyway, but they're like totes my goats, pros and a half when it comes to getting booze, and so I was like, I gotta try and like mimic their methods, they seem to like do a little thing where they kind of like, wag a little bit on the control stick, like they give the boo a little give, then they do mostly take, and then they give it a little give, and then they do some take, and I thought, decided I would do some, give it some give, give it some take, and see if I couldn't catch myself a little boo, and I caught myself a little boo, but that brings me up to the third floor of the mansion, and the third floor of the mansion is not where my key is to, actually it is, it's totally, I don't know why I said that's not where my key is to, but it's over on the other side, so I'll just cut over there really quick. Now wait a second, I'm not familiar with this room, did I already come in this room and I just, for oh it's the telephone room. Okay, so I haven't really done anything in this room, well I guess it's lit up, but, no, I hear ghosts in this room, it's making ghost sounds, so that means, yep, whoa, whoa, what is that thing? That is a creepy ass looking ghost. It's all like a skeleton. I mean, it's not really that creepy. It's more like spooky, scary skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons, creepy. That's not very creepy. Dude, there was no dudes in this room before, and now it's all filled with spooky, scary skeletons. And I don't even know what to do with spooky, scary skeletons. I don't know why I'm like thinking about spooky, scary skeletons right now. I guess it's because I'm in a world. Filled with real live ghosts. Ooh, and now this room has a boo too, so I can test my new boo catching theories. But something gives me the feeling that my new boo catching theories aren't even gonna work that well because I think that on that first boo, I just got lucky, which is an oddity because usually on my first like attempt at like a boo catch of the day, I usually get unlucky. So, ooh, and it's this table. Oh, yeah, it's definitely this table is the home of our next boo panion boomerang except for wow boomerang has a lot of a lot of health oh okay we could give him a little give him a little push give him a little tug oh we he got it oh whatever man he had i mean 300 health that's a lot i hope i hope that this thing just decides to oh no i was going to say i hope that this guy just decides to fly back into the room that i was in that would make things a little too convenient for me 300 health, I mean, is a lot, though, so I'll say that, oh, my thing's going off again already, but I know that's not for the boo, I know that's just, like, a boo dummy, that happens from time to time, but now we're finally in the room where the key went to, and dude, this is totally a boss and a half right here, except for this room, I don't understand, I guess maybe this is, I'm not sure I understand, honestly, like, what the point of this room is. Like, why it has all these weird soldiers guarding these toy houses. Maybe this is their, um, their, like, Christmas decoration storage room, I guess, is what it makes sense that this room could be. I'm vacuuming everything. It doesn't need to be doing anything. So we're going to do the old, the quick, take a look at their heart and see what it says. The valve. The valve. Okay, so there's a valve, apparently, in this room. I didn't see a valve, but... There is apparently one, and I need to mess with it. Oh, okay, I investigated the clocks, and that seemed to get something going, so I'm gonna go investigate the clocks on the other side of the room. Maybe I need to investigate all the clocks, or I just need to not look at these guys. I mean, so one of the guy's hints was the valve, one of the guy's hints was stop looking at me. So I finally gave in and went and looked this up online. I was right the first time, but for some reason I guess I just wasn't investigating this clock from the proper side to start it. There we go. I tried investigating the clock from the front and I just, I guess I assumed that it was a bad idea. Oh crap. I just, I was like, oh, it doesn't work when you do it from the front, so it doesn't work. 
when in actuality it's not that it doesn't work when you do it from the front it's that um it doesn't work when you don't do it right so yeah now that I got that going I can finally start vacuuming up these toy soldiers I gotta avoid the other two while I go after this one but he's not going in any good directions I don't understand like why I can't vacuum up one's cork oh I was if Luigi's getting up animation weren't so slow I would have had that and I wouldn't have died just now die is probably not the correct word to use but all right go the other way gotta get as far away from the other soldiers as possible while I get this dude and that way I can not get hit again while I'm doing this dang it you got three mans that's tough it's actually not that tough I think I just stink ooh this guy is almost dead though so let's get oh no 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 get away from the cork gun guys man it's kind of hard to control like which direction you're going in when you've got a dude in your vacuum because, you know, you want to go the opposite direction, obviously, but at the same time, I want to, like, let them have their way with me a little bit so I can get away from the dude who has the cork gun pointed at me. Whichever dude that may be. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Getting wrecked right now. I'm getting wreckied by these cork gun dudes. This seems like a pretty rough boss, though. It's probably the intention. That's why there's three of them instead of, like, one or two. That was the next evolution, is they're, like... You faced bosses where there's like two guys. You faced bosses where there's like one guy. But now, okay, that was not cool. That time I was vacuuming his damn cork gun when he came at me. I don't see, okay, we gotta lead him past. Dude, come on. Uh, get away, get away from that guy. And don't get hit by that mushroom. We got this. Oh, what the shit? Sometimes I wonder, I guess maybe if the bonds on ghosts sever when you've had them for too long in your grasp and that's why you lose them at times. I wish I were better at vacuuming up ghosts. I did so well with that 100 health boo at the beginning of the episode, and now I can't just take out these cork soldiers, the clockwork soldiers. Ah. Ooh, he lost his... he lost his wind-up. I guess after a while, if you kick their asses a little bit too much, they lose their wind-up devices. Sorry, dude. We're gonna have to take you out if you're... come on. There we go. It was like... Actually vacuum up your cork and your cork gun and let me murder you double murder you I guess because you're already murdered Which means this is a double murder ooh That can't be the end of the fight Because this door opened and it like looks like it has an elevator that it goes to oh I never knew that before I Just figured something out that would have helped me to know a long time ago is that if the boo is in a piece of furniture that you can't vacuum it's probably an item that you can investigate with your A button. Oh no, he's still in the table. He just hit in the table again. Well, that's annoying. All right, time for the six o'clock booze. The news of booze at six o'clock. It's got kind of a weird name. No, no, don't get away. Ah, shit. Once you get it out of your vacuum, you're kind of fucked. Well, all right, let's head up this elevator and see what goes down. Although this elevator, I think, goes to the roof. There's That means there's going to be maybe a rooftop battle against somebody... Or something, I mean, roofs are... Whoa. Oh gosh, we got a million little shy guys. I call these guys shy guys, but they're more like the islanders from certain... They're like the islanders from Paper Mario, which... The islanders from Paper Mario are basically shy guys. These shy guys just have weird death masks on. I'm trying to get multiple ones at a time, but maybe that's my mistake. Sometimes when I try and get multiple ghosts at a time, I usually don't do a very good job in this game. I should really just... Stick to one ghost. One ghost is a lot safer of a path. All right, here we go. Oh, dude, and they're all going around. See, I call these guys tribal, and they're all going around like a uh, fire, like tribal style. So I think my analysis that these dudes are in some way slightly tribal was correct. All right, two more. Oh, crap, how did he get me? I was vacuuming his mask, or her mask, or its mask. All right, two of them. Get both the mask. Wait. Oh, I didn't go fast enough. Curse this metal body, I wasn't fast enough. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we get... Damn it. I can get fire up here. That's probably going to be significant to solving whatever puzzle lies here. Oh, there we go. Two at once. You know, I, I did not bad, I think. I mean, I got two at once every time with these things, except for I didn't just now get two at once. So I guess I can't say I didn't do very not bad because I didn't get two at once with those. Ugh! There we go. Well, whatever. I got two at once, two at once, and then one at once. Although this doesn't seem like a place where it would have been particularly tough to do two at once if you're playing well. And I apparently wasn't. Ooh, now we got 
Oh crap, that wasn't right. Oh, oh, it's because this is a uh, icy, but we got yeah, we've got the ice. Come back! I've got the ice. I told you, I got the ice for your party, and it's actually my party, and it's a boo murdering party. It's a birthday party. It's your birthday party, and you're gonna die. All right, let's spread the fire of love on this thing. Oop. And by the fire of love, I mean the fire of hatred. Now it's because we love Mario, and we're trying to make these ghosts love Mario as much as I do. So they will maybe someday relinquish their power to... Dude, this place seems like... There would have been like a big boss battle here. It just seems like such a big, significant place, and yet... At the end of the day, it's just got a bunch of big old stone pillars that... Seem to be angry and meaningless. Ooh, except for the fact that one's got a heart. And I could have a heart right now. Alright, cool. I'm gonna grab this chest and we can see if we can't maybe move a little on. Make a little bit more progress log wrestle in this game. And hopefully get a key. Actually, somebody pointed out that all key boxes are the little blue ones. And so, technically when I'm always being like, I don't know how you're supposed to know. If it's a key or not, somebody was like, dude, Ragtar, you always know if it's a key because it's a blue box if it's a key. And that made me kind of feel like a dummy, but that, you know, is not surprising because I act like a dummy a lot, so it didn't it didn't really affect me knowing oh what the Dude, we're gonna come up to the roof again, I think, because clearly Oh no. This is like uh oh. What did that do? Drops me in the fireplace on what floor? Oh! A sealed room! Oh my gosh! Oh! Can I just... Oh! Oh! Of course! They wouldn't just give away their gold in a sealed room with all these boxes. Dude, I wonder if uh, this is like an optional room and if I found a secret, 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 weakret. We gotta stay away from that orange guy that's going after me, but... And this bomb throwing guy, holy shit! I wonder if all these boxes have... As many, uh, oh crap, get them, there we go. I don't think the red dude can hit me from here, so that's a plus and a half right now. Let's grab this heart. Holy shit, this room is terrifying, it's got, it doesn't have spooky, oh, I had that dude. Well, obviously I didn't have that dude, but this is, this room's got to go. Alright, I hate the big blue guys because their move stuns me and knocks me back and crap, which makes me unhappy. Come on, red, big old red ghost, I need you to not throw a bomb at me for a second whilst I murder you. Ah! There we go, I think. And that's room lit. Alright, so I guess maybe it's just when you try and go for one of the boxes. And this is a blue box, so technically it should be, yep, a key. Maybe it's just the key to get out of this room since this apparently is as the game suggests. Oh no, it's not. I was gonna say, as the game suggests, it's a sealed room, but I'm gonna really quickly go around, not do this on camera because it'll probably take a while. Not a while, but I'm gonna go collect all the gold in this room. Well, this room seems to be quite reasonably looted. By the way, it's one of those rooms that, um, the reason it's a sealed room, I, I realized, it's one of those rooms that when you're walking past it, it's got the boards on the outside. But as I was looting the room, there was a nice mirror covered up, which means that's how they intend for you to get out of this room, I believe. And I think that is a good time for me to end this episode. And in the next episode, I will actually be going into that room that I got the mystery key for. It's the room that doesn't appear to be on the direct path of the mission. So this has been Rakdar. Thank you for watching.